God bless you. Good morning to each and every one of you wonderful people. We're glad to be here. I am a servant of Jesus Christ. I represent Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who came into this world from heaven from his fall. Die for our sin to take away our sin, remission of sin. That through his blood that was shed on the cross. God raised him from the dead. He went back to him. Now he's back with his father on the right hand of his father. He's coming back again. He said, be ready. Praise God. You want eternal life. You want to go to heaven when you die. You got to believe Jesus Christ, the son of God. You got to repent of your sins. You got to believe him for the remission of your sins to take away your sins. You got to call on him. You got to keep all his commandments. You got to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah, you'll speak it all the time when you're filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes, you will. Praise God. Now, let's go, let's go here. Galatians chapter 1 and verse 8, we want to deal with this and go in detail. Galatians chapter 1 and verse 8, the gospel of Jesus Christ. No other name <laughs> under heaven whereby we must be saved. And that name is Jesus Christ. And that person is Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Hallelujah. Now, not just the name, but the person. Glory to God. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. That's the only way we say, people. That's the only way hey, your sin take it away. The law could take away your sin. The law could take away your sin. Ain't no more law required by God. The law even told you that Jesus Christ was coming. Now Christ is in the law for righteousness sake. There's no law required. No Sabbath day, no tithe, no offering. And let, me just, let me just put this out here. Let me, let me, let me put this out here. Let me, let me say this. People argue about the Sabbath day. You keep the Sabbath day. You know, you wish for the Sabbath day. Show me in the scripture where you wish for the Sabbath day. That's the day you wish for the Sabbath day. Show me that in the scripture. Show it. You won't be able to show it because you can't find it. Praise God. I'm on, I'm on Facebook and so-called Hebrew Israelite. Talking about Christ saying wisdom on the Sabbath. Show it in the scripture, I dare you. Hallelujah to God. <laughs> All right. Let, 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 me, let, let me not belabor that. Hallelujah. Uh, you know, hey. Anyway. In the fourth chapter of the book of uh, Hebrew, you obey the gospel, you have the Sabbath. That's enough. All right, Galatians 1 and 8. We just told you what the gospel was. Well, what's the gospel? They're barely really ready to cry. What that mean? Why, uh, why did Jesus come? Why did Jesus die? Why was Jesus raised? What was the purpose of that? To take away our sin. The law couldn't do it. No time, all the Sabbath day, they couldn't do it. But Christ 
takes away our sin. If we repent, if we believe him will do, if we call on him, if we continue the word. All right, I want Galatians 1 and 8. Read with us. Galatians 1 and 8. And all you talk about God still require your tithe and offering. You will guard your tithe and offering. That's another gospel. I don't care who you are. You are lying wonder. You preach another gospel. All you say you got to keep Sabbath day, you preach another gospel. All right, come on. Galatians, yeah. Chapter 1 and verse 8. We better start with six. I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. You know another gospel that said, hallelujah, glory to God. It ain't no bow without sin. We all got sin. That's another gospel. With Jesus Cleanse you from your sin. Through his blood, you have a vision of sin. I marvel. Galatians chapter 1, verse 6. I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you to the grace of Christ. I marvel too. I marvel too. I, I, I show ball. Or to another gospel. Which is not enough. But there'll be some that trouble you and will prefer the gospel of Christ. Trouble you. Now, but though we or an angel from heaven, we that mean me talking to you, that mean Paul that was writing the Galatians, that mean if an angel come down from heaven. Preach any other gospel, gospel unto you that that which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. If you preach, then you turn around and you go preach something different. Let you be a curse too, Pastor, Bishop, Apostle, Angel, or we, we. Preach any other gospel unto you that that which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you that ye have received, let him be a curse. Let him be a curse. You preach, get the, get the, you preach, we ain't saved by the law. I know some of them preach. We ain't saved by the law. Tithes don't save you. Offering don't save you. Sabbath day don't save you. So you ain't got all of those sacrifice. Then you turn right around and tell people they got to offer sacrifice. Tithes and offering. You don't guard your tithe. You just preach another gospel. Let's see, let's see about you. Stay in Galatians and go to chapter 2, verse 18. For if I build again the thing which I destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. You are you a transgressor. Yes, you are. So we gotta let you be a curse. 16. Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law. Robert 5. I mean, Robert tenfold. Christ is in the law of right. Uh, 
Hebrew to you. Uh huh. Matthew 9 12, Jesus said, Go learn with this be, I will have mercy, not sacrifice. Hebrew 10, God don't God had no plan to burn off his sacrifice. Christ offered himself once and all. Hebrew chapter 5, chapter 6, chapter 7, chapter 8, chapter 9, chapter 10. Those things in the law, your tithes, all the Sabbath day, all they got, they could never take away sin. Hebrews 10, I'm giving you scripture to read it for yourself. Glory to God. You'll trigger. Now, how do we let you be a curse? First, let's show you this. Go to Acts. Chapter 15. In verse 1, they said, except you be circumcised as the map of the man of old, you can't be saved. You got to be circumcised to be saved. That's another gospel. Then in uh, uh, verse 5, they said, you need to circumcise the Gentile and command them to keep the law of Moses to be saved. That's another gospel. Read that whole 15th chapter of the book of Acts. If they told them to go to the apostles, and the apostle told him, no, you don't have to. Re read the whole 15th chapter of the book of Acts. I'm telling you what to read. Read it. How, now, how, how, do, how do we let you be accursed? How that work? In the book of 2 John. Let us get that glory to God. Second John. Second John. Glory to Glory to God. Second John. Second John in verse 9. Whosoever transgress it and abided not in the doctrine of Christ. <clears throat> when you transgress, you sin. When you break Jesus' commandment, you sin. When you preach, teach, live not according to the word, you sin. Whosoever transgresses, abided not in the doctrine of Christ. Had not God. Hold it. You say Jesus Christ is not the Son of God. That's another doctrine. He that abided in the doctrine of Christ. He had both. Not one. Both. Not just the Father. But both. The Father and the Son. If that come in of you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house. That's how we let you be a curse. You ain't preaching that up in here, buddy. Sister, bishop, apostle, you ain't preaching that up in here. And, 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 if, and if I'm in your house, I'm not saying they may let them to them lies. And I'm going to teach against the lies you tell them. Oh, I got to tell the other folk, you are cursed. Need to be here, God speed. God be with you. 
as you go and do the work and go and preach this, what you preach it. God be with you. Let me give you a love offering. Let me give you a cup of water in the name of a prophet. Ah, uh, 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 no, you are cursed. I can't be you, God's be. Would you pray me as I go out here and spread this false doctrine? No. Would you so help support this false doctrine ministry? No. Neither be in God's feet. For he that be in him God's feet is a partaker of his evil deeds. I can't say you are an anointed gospel preacher. Well, it, it, year, a number of years ago, they had an anniversary sermon for a certain pastor, and they contacted me, and they wanted me to get up and chill lead for their, for their death. Say how holy, well, how holy and right he is in. And, and and how he got a good report it is and then I said no I can't do that because he don't have a good report he don't I understand people's past is the past but if you're still doing it it's not the past it's your present oh you see that you see that? You see that? For he that bid him God speed to partake of his evil deed. You can't lay hands on him and say, go out and do the work of the Lord. No! You can't give him no token of love. To put no gas in his tank to go to another town or buy him a plane ticket to go to another town preach that same false doctrine. You can't do that. No. <laughs> no. 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 And my cousin say, no, 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 no. <laughs> It, oh, it gets worse. You got to teach the other people. You got to teach everybody to let them be a curse. You got to teach them that the pastor is a curse. Bishop is my bishop is a curse. My Zion is bishop. My district elder is a curse. The proud one is a curse. But if they tell you God said for people to give you a south certain amount of money, let it be a curse. They tell you so and see a miracle, let it be a curse. Peter told the Sabbath of Sahara, you perish and your money perish with you because you thought the gift of God could be bought with money. Hallelujah. Let it be a curse. Glory to you. Got to teach the other folk. That's a Jesus said, be well for all prophet. That's the everybody. You got to let them know what a false prophet is. You don't say amen. To the lies your pastor tell. You don't say amen to that. And sometimes I say, y'all mighty quiet on me in the holy folk. And spending the holy women of God, they sit there with their arm folded. They, they ain't going along until mess, pastor. They sit there with their arm folded. <laughs> That's right. Don't do that. <laughs> they had the false prophet Joel Osteen in the holy convocation. And a lot of the saints, they didn't come out that Wednesday night. If people got upset and say more people should have came out that Wednesday night. No, they shouldn't. You don't go to a fault prophet me. I don't care if you don't never say nothing. Hallelujah. Let it be a curse. And you gotta teach, you gotta teach your children. That's a curse. 
Well, keep your mouth off the preacher. God didn't say that. Jesus told the disciple what to do about scribe, Pharisee, and hypocrite. He told his disciples. Huh? All right, now, now I want Romans 16. Oh, you got, you got zombies. Remember Peter and Paul? When Paul went to Jerusalem and saw Peter, them not acting, not living according to the scripture, living contrary to the scripture, Peter was telling this to the people in Galatia. In Galatia chapter 2, read that whole second chapter. Peter was telling this to the saints in Galatia. Yet Peter, the apostle of Jesus Christ, the one that walked with Jesus, but I saw he walked, we were not walking up right according to the truth. He was teaching the people in Galatia. What the apostle of Jesus Christ did, that wasn't right. Though he walked with Christ, he wasn't right. He got it right <laughs> later on, praise the Lord. But 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 he got the apostle Paul saw him. Hey Lord. I don't care if Peter the one that walked with you. He ain't right. He didn't walk around according to the truth. And he knew the truth. Most pastors. Most pastors we know, they know the truth. My God. Ha. <sighs> Galatians 2, it, it, it started reading with verse 11. He would teach the Galatians, Galatians, church of Galatians. Now, uh, I want Romans. Oh, oh, it's more to it than See, you can't shut your mouth up, and then you keep you, you and you let them they preach a false doctrine, and you let them teach the people false doctrine, and you ain't saying nothing. You guilty. Glory to God. All right, I want Galatians. I mean Romans sixteen. At verse seventeen. Now I beseech you. Brethren, mark them. You put a mark on them. Make note of them, which call division. The they call it division the and offense and contrary to the doctrine. They call it people to live contrary and teach contrary to the doctrine. They call it people to live contrary and teach contrary to the doctrine. They causing people, they teaching people to live contrary, to teach contrary to the doctrine of Jesus Christ. And they among you, they among us. It said for you to mark them. Glory to God. All right. Pray God. Now I beseech you, brethren, marked in with called the business, our business, contrary to the doctrine. I'm so, it's a it's a shame of all the living God. And it's on Jesus. You know where both false prophets come, among, come from among us? They came from among us. They came from the church of God in Christ. Baptist, Methodist, Episcopal, Apostolic, non-nomination. They came from among us. They were taught uh, to be a false prophet from among us.
they will talk false doctrine from among us. We should have let there be a curse. Oh, you got it. You got it. Now I will see you, brother Mark, and we call the physical, physical train to the doctor, which ye have learned and avoided. We got to mark them and we got to avoid them. Why? For they are such will serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly. That means they want so much. You know what that means? And by good word, good word, oh, they can speak some good word too, honey. And fast speech, they preach some fast uh, speeches too. They deceive the hearts of the simple. They deceive the people. You ain't saying nothing. Well, let God have the preacher, but preach deceive the people. And you ain't saying nothing. Keep your mouth off the preacher. But preachers deceive the people and you ain't saying nothing. You guilty. Because you didn't mark them. And you put the mark where everybody can see the mark. My God today. He, they deceive the hearts of the simple. Hallelujah. For your obedience is come abroad to all men. You obey it. the word of God. You obey it. And my God, it have, it have come abroad. They know you obey it. Watch this. Watch this. They know you stand for the truth. Watch this. And I am glad therefore on your behalf. But yet, I would have you wise. Or to that which is good. You do good and be wise. If you're wise, you will do good. And simple concerning evil. They ain't gonna do evil. <laughs> How many of y'all see that? They ain't gonna do evil. Uh -huh. Now. Let's get deep. Go to, see, this, this thing, this thing, go to the 14th chapter of the book of, the 13th chapter of the book of Deuteronomy. You got to let everybody know how they going to know the truth. If they arise up in verse 1, Deuteronomy 13, 1, if they arise you, the, the, the same process, not the same thing. We, we ain't kick, we ain't stole nobody to death now. If they are around among you, a prophet or a dream or a dream, give to your side of the water, the side of the water, come to pass, whatever he speak unto thee, saying, Let's go out to other gods that believe the true and living God. But thou hast not known, and you don't even know idols and all that kind of thing. And let us say, If thou shalt not listen to the word of that prophet, don't listen, don't you listen to him. Don't listen to it. Don't you listen to him. Let you be a curse. Don't listen to you. Does not hug that prophet, the word that prophet, or that dream of dream, for the Lord your God proving you to know whether you love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul. You shall walk out for the Lord your God. Fear him. Keep his commandments. Don't break any pretend to break Jesus' commandments. Okay, you break Jesus' commandments, break God's commandments. That preacher is a liar. Tell you it's okay to see him. Because we ain't perfect, it's okay to see it because we're on the grave. That preacher is a liar. Romans 6 15. Matthew 5 19. You shall walk out with the Lord your God and fear him. And keep his commandment, obey his voice. You shall serve him and clean to him. And that prophet dream your dream shall be put to death. Let's show you, let's show you how teaching it is. Verse 6, if thy brother 
the soul of thy mother, or that or your son or your daughter or your wife of thy bosom or your friend, which is in thy own soul, entice thee secretly, saying, Let go serve unto God. When thou not know, thou know thy father, name the God of the people round about you, that thee, or fall from thee, from one in alert to the other in alert, thou shalt not conceal the hill, nor hearken unto him, these shall your eye, don't you pity him. These shall you spare. These shall thou conceal, don't even hide it. But thou shalt surely kill him with thine hand. Thou shalt, thou shalt surely kill him. Thine hand shall be first upon him. You shall teach this thing again. We ain't, we ain't stoned to the death no more. Make that clear. But let him be a curse. Let him be a curse. Jesus said, yeah, if your brother trespass against you and he don't get it straight, go get one. If he don't hear him, go get another. If he don't hear him, bring him forward to it. If he don't hear him, let him be as a heathen or a publican. Let it be a curse. And you got to teach your children. Your friends, everybody you know, let him be a curse. Let God be true in everybody alive. All right. Let it be a curse. Let simple. Anybody tell you it's okay to sin? And break the commandment? And God pleased with that? It's okay if you do that? Let there be a curse. All right, that would let it be a curse. Be. Let him be a curse. Don't you follow him? Don't be in God's feet. Don't get it. No, don't get it. Don't get it. No seeds or lie. Don't get it. No tithes and offering lie. They say, well, God, you owe God your tithe. Don't you get that lie? Hallelujah. They ain't give it tithe no way. They ain't give it time no bit coming out of eyes. <laughs> Praise God, but they give it money. I give money. And I put on my check donation. I don't put no ties. I don't put and I'm calling questions about that by the secretary. By the finance secretary. She say, I got we got to check. What you want me to is that tithe? Is that offer? Is that Sunday school? I say it's none of that. It's donation. Glory to God. All right. Let it be a curse. You can't let them deceive your children and deceive folks and send folks to hell. And you ain't saying nothing. You a preacher? You got to let them be a curse. You got to let everybody know they are cursed. They are lie. That's enough. Thank you for being